Hi everyone, so this video is part one of chapter 10 accounting rules. We will talk about the different accounting principles starting from business entity until your accounting period. So let's start. Okay, so the first, I'm using the summary that we did in the, during the live lesson, so uh, it's easier. This is the summary already and at the same time with concrete examples for each principle. So the first principle we have here is business entity. Okay, the, the main point of this principle uh, is simply telling us that the business, this is the key idea, the business is separate from the owner. Okay, and when we say separate from the owner, the best example of this one is actually the use of drawings account. Okay, when we, if you remember when we use the drawings account, drawings is defined as take uh, when we record things that we take for personal use. So that alone is a very good example of business entity. We separate ourselves or we separate the business from the owner okay that is business entity all right and the next principle is called duality so duality we have done this before oh by the way the overview of this chapter is we are looking at the rules of accounting in general all over the world. So, like in a school, for example, we have rules to follow. You have to wear your uniform. You have to come to class on a certain time. So these are the school rules. The same goes for accounting. So in accounting, we have rules that every single business needs to follow. So that is why, so that when everybody around the world is doing the same thing, following the same accounting rules, so it's easy for businesses to look at each other's financial statements, to look at each other's rec records and financial transactions. Remember, if we go back to chapter one, the meaning of accounting is the language of business. And for us to have a common language, we need to have a common rule, all right? There is actually an accounting called International Accounting Standards that all businesses following accounting procedures are, fo are, are, are um, following, okay? So going back, we, we did the first accounting principle. It's called business entity. Now going to the second one, we call it duality. Now, this duality principle, you have been using this already for a long time. You are using the debit and the credit. Per textbook explanation, when we say debit, it means the account receiving. Okay? And when we say credit, it means the account giving. In the example here, we do all transactions with a debit and a credit. So for example, when we pay rent, we debit rent expense and we credit bank. The account giving here is the bank because the bank, your bank account goes down, right? If you pay something, the bank goes down. It's like the bank is giving the money to the rent expense. So your rent expense goes up. Let's say, why does it go up? We already discussed this before. In January, before you start the business, January 1, your rent is zero. If the rent every month is 1,000, then at the end of January, which is January 31, your rent expense is 1,000. Now, if it's February, another 1,000. So your total rent expense now from January to February is 2,000. Therefore, it is the rent expense receiving the account. And the one giving to it is your money or your bank. Now, I've clearly 
uh, I've been saying this for a lot of times that to make things easy, we follow the golden rule of accounting, which is when assets and expenses go up, we debit. And then when income and your liabilities go up, we credit. So we make it simple that way, but just for the, your information, because we're learning accounting principle, this is the definition of debit and credit. Okay? So, but make it, do not overthink about it when we say duality, it's just simply using debit and credit. Okay? I hope that's clear. Uh, the third accounting principle is money measurement. So the key idea of money measurement is we record transactions only when they have monetary value, only when they have a dollar amount with them, okay? So let's say um, in the examples here, salary of a manager, of course, there's a monetary value, there's a dollar value, so yes, we record them. Effectiveness of the manager. You cannot give a monetary value to how effective a manager is. It's very subjective, so it's a no. We don't record effectiveness of managers. Salaries, yes, we give them because we give the manager money okay, or salary. So that is something that can be measured. But how effective he is in his job is not recorded in our books. It is not recorded in accounting. Third, training cost of staff. Yes, we record. Why? Because, of course, let's say I will send a staff to a training, training camp or a training session, and, and then I pay, let's say, $5,000 for that or $5,000 uh, reals for that. Then that has a specific monetary uh, value that I can record in my uh, books. But the skills that my staff learned in that training cannot be recorded with a monetary value. So that is the meaning of money measurement. In accounting, remember, we are talking here about rules. So in accounting, we don't measure, sorry, we don't record transactions which has no monetary value All right and look at this one it says here accounting is based on facts and not personal opinion so if we connect this to the effectiveness of the manager that is based on personal opinion this effectiveness of the manager is based on personal opinion I might give my manager an excellent rating in his, with his job, but another uh, employee might give this manager a rating of poor. You know, so that is a very personal uh, matter to be uh, given to. That is why we don't record things which cannot be measured in terms of money. Okay, I hope that's clear. So, so far we have done accounting, business entity, duality, money measurement, okay? The next rule is realization. So, realization is very simple. It means that businesses will only record profit when it is earned, okay? So, my example here, which we've done in the class, as well in during our live lessons is the pizza example. Uh, when the pizza is not yet delivered to you, you have not yet received the pizza, then that is not yet a sale. And therefore, if you are the manager of Domino's Pizza, then you will not record this as a, an income unless and until the customer actually received the pizza. If the delivery guy going to your place dropped the pizza by accident, then there is no sale yet okay, until you replace the pizza that was um, 
damaged or was uh, you know it was not given to you in the first place so in short we only record when the legal title passes to the buyer and where does the, where, where when is this happening this is happening when you actually got the pizza in your hands so that is an example of legal title okay so we record in short realization means we only record profit when it is earned when it is when the sale is done okay and when the when the product is transferred to the buyer right the next um, the next rule here is sorry about that I'm trying to remove the highlight okay the next rule here is consistency so what is consistency consistency is a rule or an accounting rule wherein you have to use the same method every single year uh, we haven't really discussed this in year 10 but the best example of this is the next chapter we're covering which is depreciation so it simply means uh, we in depreciation we will be talking about three methods so just to give you a quick uh, summary about this our three methods are straight line method reducing balance method and revaluation method we will discuss this further when we reach that chapter but as of now when we say consistency accounting tells us it's a rule that we must use the same method every single year so if one if you are using straight line method this year you should use straight line method for every single year after of course you are able to change your method if there is a proper or a valid reason but otherwise you cannot just keep on changing your method like this year straight line next year you feel like it's reducing balance next year it's revaluation oh i changed my mind go back to straight line no it doesn't work like that accounting tells us accounting rule tells us that there should be consistency we should use the same method every single year okay all right so that is for consistency now the next one is matching so far we have done five already business entity just a quick run through we have business entity which means business separate from the owner then we have duality the use of debit and credit then we have money measurement we have we need to record only transactions which has monetary value then we have realization we only record when the profit is actually earned and remember the pizza example and then consistency we use the same method every single year okay we will i will continue with the rest of the rules in the part two of the video thank you